Shalom, while Romeo back with another quick lesson. Um, I want to start this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Muhammad Kakwadash, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, and double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Shalom to you, Akim and Akwaf, that believe and have faith in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah in these last days. Uh, I just want to get this lesson. I had ran across an article about um, the uh, Russian military. A uh, propaganda machine um, made a, a video about destroying, visualizing, destroying the NATO. Oh, I'm going to read it right here. It says, Russia military releases propaganda pop song fantasizing about its nukes wiping out NATO and the U.S. And this, this is biblical prophecy. And um, these things are coming fast, man. This is this was, was six hours ago. I got it a couple hours ago. Um, I just basically wanted to do a lesson on it as I seen it, and um, and all this is just coming up. I mean, this is another article, all today. Um, it says Russia has enough missiles for three to four more mass strikes. Officials warn, and I read a little bit of the article, but I didn't read it at all because I was driving. But um, this song, it's a pop song, man, and they they uh, they really have uh, um, a I would say a, a hard on to destroy America, man. The NATO in these countries, man, as you see in the in the right beside this this singer, they have uh, uh, the missiles, man. And uh, I want to play that song for you, um, so you can kind of get an understanding, an idea of what what he was singing about. I'm gonna play the song. I mean, we can't. I ain't gonna play the whole thing. It's just because it's in Russian, and I'm just trying to show you the video that they are uh, making to destroy NATO in the U.S. С электроникой сложной защитить свою родину рад. Мы в контейнер стальной осторожно опускаем наш грозный сармат. Дремлет комплекс командных приборов, ждет команды могучий заряд. Поразить неприятель. So I don't want to get another. I don't want to get another strike, man. I got two strikes on my my main page, and um. No strikes on this page. I'm going to load this video too. So I know that, that song more like is copywritten. But as you seen, what he was what he was talking about in the um, the song was this this missile, Satan 2, the Sarmat. And you, as you can see, it's hu enormous, man. It's e enormous. Look how big that thing. It's like a rocket though. you shoot to, to go out of, out of space or something. And they have several of them. They call it the Satan 2. And I think it was coined by uh, America, man. It says, Satan 2, Russia is about to test its new invisible nuclear missile, man. And that's what the song was about, the Satan 2 missile. You know, I can't play the thing, uh, play them, the songs and stuff because they have them. I'm pretty, much, I'm pretty sure they got them copywritten where they flag you for copyrights. But uh, as you see, man, these missiles are, are not a, um, a fantasy. Something that is not going to happen, man. This, this is biblical prophecy. And it, it, it is going to come to pass, man. This is um, Isaiah 13. Let me go to Isaiah 13, man. Because Isaiah gives you, a, give you a, a great illustration of what's going to happen. And this is all done by Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Isaiah 13, I'm going to drop down to verse 17. It says, Behold, let me make sure this music, I just kind of have some background music, man, where I can kind of, if I'm going you know, to get a space in my my different, uh, when I'm speaking, man, let me just pause it, man, it don't matter. <laughs> I always try to have a little music in the background just in case I had dead space, but anyway, it don't matter shit. Um, this is Isaiah 13, verse 17. It says, Behold, I will stir up the meads against them, 
And it's talking about Babylon the Great. And the Medes are the so-called Edomites, which are Russians. It says, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. So basically, they're not going to be able to take a, a, a Babylon the Great NATO is not going to be able to take a bribe of um, from they're not going to be able to give a bribe to Russia. Because as you see now, they the Russia they pretty much uh, fed up with uh, NATO and the um, the U.S. because uh, they're basically bringing war to their country, man. And these people are very prideful about their country, um, just like any other any other people. But these people are kind of they dead set against their their country, and uh, that's why they made a pop song about <laughs> destroying the NATO and the U.S. He says they should not delight in it. Their bows also, bows re representing the uh, missiles, he said their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces and they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb. Their eyes shall not spare children. So when they shoot those missiles, they ain't going to think, well, um, the Americans have babies and they have little children. They, they, they need to live. They're not going to worry about that, man. He says they, it's going to dash them to pieces, man. It's going to utterly waste these people in Babylon the Great. Lord willing, I won't be here to see it, but I'll be in those chariots looking down on, on the destruction of Babylon the Great. It says, their eyes shall not spare children. The, and Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, which is America, Babylon the Great, the beauty of the, of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when Sodom over Lachia, shall be when the most high power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So when the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, he had fire rain from heaven. It's the same thing that's going to ha happen. That's why he gave you an example. When the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, it shall never be inhabited again. And I threw again in. But we know in um, ancient Sodom and Gomorrah, is nobody ever stayed there anymore. It's the same thing that's going to happen to Babylon and Great, man. Only wild beasts, and yeah, it's, it's in the scripture. It says, um, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. So when the destruction come of Babylon and great, every other country is going to be rebuilt, but America, Babylon and great will never be rebuilt again. It says, e neither shall the Arabian pitch tent, neither, uh, neither shall the Arabians pitch tent there. Neither shall the shepherds make their foes there, but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there. And their houses shall be full of doleful creatures. So it's talking about America, man. Whatever's, whatever's left is going to be inhabited by doleful creatures. Owls, it's, it's saying it. Owls and all the desert creatures that you see. Snakes and stuff like that. And different birds, you know, that um that dwell in the desert. That's, what, that's the only thing going to live here in America, Babylon the Great. It says, and owls shall dwell there. And the satires shall dance there, and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses, and dragons in their pleasant palaces. So you know, basically, you know, you see those uh, those those uh, what you call it, those dystopian type movies where you see a a half a building or something like that that's left. You have um you have like a um trying to like um I take uh, give you an example like um. That movie Will Smith was in, um, where he had all all the everything was growing up, but it's gonna be way worse than that, man. I was trying to give you a kind of mindset of what the land is gonna look like, but it's gonna be utterly waste. It's gonna be destroyed, man. He said in the pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and that's what I want to focus on: the time that's near to come, and that's talking about the destruction of America, man. It, it ain't because I wanted to be destroyed. This is biblical prophecy. I found that when I found out about it, I was shocked. But it's much, the fulfillment of prophecy is going to be done in our lifetime. It ain't going to be no 20, 30 years off. It's going to, it's going to happen in our lifetimes, man. It says, it says, in her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. So when the Lord give his final judgment of America after he sees all the things in America is, is complete, uh, done, to the children of Israel and also to the land and the animal, everything, man. The charges got trumped up charges comparing it to street stuff. That charges are trumped up, man. They got a lot of charges, man. They ain't gonna be able to get out of. 
and this time is not going to be prolonged anymore, man. The Lord is seeing the, the wickedness of Esau Edom, and he's, and he's finna bring judgment on him. This is Jeremiah 51, and I'm going to just jump down to verse 11 to get the point. It says, make, and it's talking about the missile. He said, uh, let's start at 10. He says, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have brought forth his slacket, brought forth our righteousness. Come and, and let us declare in Zion the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, our power. And that's what the men of the Lord is doing. We, 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 are, we are declaring the work of our power. He's going to destroy America, Babylon, the great man. It says, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. So he's raised up those men, man, those Russians. He's raised them up. They, 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 they're angry, man. They mad as hell, man. And um, another thing, too, uh, as you see, like on the news, uh, they're basically being made a fool of, man. The Russians, they, they you know, they say they ain't got enough missiles. They, their, um, their systems ain't working. Their fighters don't want to fight. So you know what I'm saying? They're making a mockery of uh, these people, man. So they steer, they, they piss, man. It says, for his device is to against it. So can, let me read that again because it's a, it's a heavy precept. It says, make bright the arrows, gather the shields. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes for his device. And this is for the Lord's destruction, man. This is for the Lord's judgment. He raised those um, so-called Russians up to bring destruction on their brothers, man. It says, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. So the Lord wants to destroy America, man. Because it is his because it is the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, the vengeance of his temple. It says, set up a standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. So he set up watchmen and warned the children of Israel, man. Repent and come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, or you're going to be in the destruction with Esau Edom. It says, prepare an ambush for Yahweh Bashem Yahushai have both devised and done that which he has spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So the Lord, we basically living out the, the, um, the movie of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai because these things are already written. He already spoke these things into existence. So we just waiting for the destruction to come because this is, this is his doing, man. He has, he has a, a, a perpetual hatred against the so-called Edomites, man. He said that in Malachi, and also um, Apostle Paul repeated it in Romans. O, o thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures. And that's America, man, abundant in treasures, man. Every, every, every nation wants to be like America, man. He says, O that thou dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasure, thy end is come. And the measure of thy covetousness. So all the sins have, have, have reached the heavens. So the Lord has a judgment he has prepared for this place, man. And the, and the, and the judgment he has prepared is those missiles that, that the Russians were singing about, man. They're actually singing about destroying a country with their prized possession. They were prideful about that missile, man. They probably said it's invisible, man. You've seen plenty of videos they made about it. They are happy about that missile. So that, that uh, missile that they 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 um they have prepared, which America coined that missile to be Satan too. This is verse 10. This is Jeremiah 46, verse 10. It says, For this is the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, the most high power of host, a day of vengeance, that he may avenge him of his adversaries. So he's gonna avenge himself of his adversaries, and this is his enemies. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has enemies, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai enemy is the so-called white man, Esau Edom. And this is not because I want it to be. It's biblical prophecy. That's uh, Isaiah 63. You can read that from one on down, I think like six. The Lord is coming to destroy Esau Edom, man. And, and in, um, I think the second address, um, it goes into their, uh, I think the second address 13, they're going to go into fight. Esau is going to try to fight the Lord when he returns. It says, and the sword shall devour, and it shall be satire, and made drunk with their blood. So these missiles are going to be made drunk with the blood of, <laughs> my goodness, man. Just imagine, man, the, the, the nuclear destruction that's going to come from the missiles, man. They said one missile, man, it gets up to, and I, I can't say for a fact, they said that missile gets up to a million degrees Fahrenheit. 
And they're saying one missile could take out the whole state of Texas. Woo! Man, it's going to be one hell of a day, boy. Um, it shall be the satire and made drunk with their blood. For you, how about Shimei Shai of hosts have a sacrifice in the North Country? And that goes to show you that he's talking about North America, man. North America is the North Country that the Lord is speaking about. And this is a prophecy in the Old Testament. It hasn't even came to pass yet. It says, in the North Country by the rivers of, uh, of Euphrates. And I broke that down before that Euphrates is basically the same um, river as uh, the Mississippi River. And that, that travel, let me see if I can get that real quick. I didn't want to get into it, but I got, I got to get it since I said it. Um, let me see. The Mississippi travels throughout the entire U.S. Let me see if I can get a picture. Let me see if I can get a picture. Yeah, as you see, the Mississippi River. Let me get it right here. It travels through the entire United States. And uh, Revelation um, 11, it tells you America is Sodom and Egypt. As you can see, that river travels through the entire United States. Let's get the Euphrates. Euphrates River. Should have got the map. There you go. See that at Euphrates River, it travels through the entire, entire the entire lands, man. All these countries, Iraq, Syria, all the way up by Turkey. I don't know what that country is. But I mean, it's easy. I mean, if you really want to know what countries it go through, it's easy to look it up. But it travels, it's a long, it travels the entire country, man. Look at Iraq, it travels the whole country. And Iraq, Babylon's right in Iraq, man. <laughs> so this is not a coincidence that these countries are the Lord describing these countries together, man. He describing the countries that he has a destruction for, which he says the North Country, which we, we know that he's, he's speaking about the North Country being America. And it's symbolizing the Mississippi River as the Euphrates River, man. These are these, these are dark sayings, man, that, you know what I'm saying, the apostles and elders have taught us and that's how we know. You know, you can look it up and Google, but that's how we know these things, man, through the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. On down to elders as well in Akium that also, you know what I'm saying, that um, teach teach the truth. They, you know, taught us and, 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 and continue to teach. So that's how we know these things is easy to break down for us that we, you know, if you really want a, a deeper understanding, you know, and get, get those videos from the apostles and elders. This is Isaiah 34, and I'm going to start at verse 8. It says, for it is the day of Yahweh Bashimi Alshai's vengeance and the year of the of recompense for the controversy of Zion. So the things that the Lord is doing is before for the children of Israel, the hopeful elect. Not for all the children of Israel, just for the hopeful elect. It says, And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burnt pitch. This place is going to be burnt up, man. It shall it shall not be quenched night nor day. So the Lord is going to, when he's sending those missiles, it's going to, his place is going to burn for a long period of time. It's like 9-11, man. It, it, um, those buildings burnt for a long time, but this is going to be a lot longer, man. It, it, this place is going to burn for years, man. The entire land mask of America, Babylon the Great. It says, it shall, it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever so he just basically symbolizing a long period of time from generation to generation so we know it's going to be years this place is going to be burning we don't know how long but it's going to be burning for a long period of time and it shall lie waste none shall pass through it forever and ever so the lord is going to make this place a burning pitch man it's going to be it's going to burn for a long period of time and we know it's going to that the fire is going to quench eventually because he said that um and basically going back into the how the ravens and every the Carmanians and all of these birds and these animals are going to live here. So we know it's going to burn for a long, long, long period of time, man. And you don't want to be caught up in the destruction, man, because it's the Lord's doing, man. It's the Lord is going to be in the fire of those missiles, and the angels are going to control those missiles. So the Russians are not going to shoot those missiles. They create the Lord put the spirit on them to create the missiles. I think it's Isaiah fifty four. But um, the Lord put the spirit on them to create the missiles. But the Lord is going to have the angels to um control those missiles to land where he wants them to land 
This is, I just want to get the point. The whole Jeremiah 50 is fire. But I want to get the point right here in 28. Yeah, if you, you got a little time, man, read. I would, I would say read the whole chapter of Jeremiah 50. And it goes into the destruction of Babylon as well. This is um, Jeremiah 50. And I'm going to start at verse 28. It says, the voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, our power, the vengeance of his temple. And that's what we, we, the men of the Lord are proclaiming. The Lord's vengeance is coming. It says, call together the archers against Babylon. So the Lord is calling together the archers against Babylon. He's staring, this is what he says, he's staring up the Medes, man. He get them, he get them together. He controlling them to, to make them set up everything, man. I think it was this week. Um, the Russians are, it was setting up their missiles, man, to shoot off. They, 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 they're aiming them at right at um, America and also they're aiming them at um, the NATO. NATO. So this week alone, they have those missiles set up for um for, for to be for them to be shot off. This is twenty nine again. It says, "Call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow, camp against her around about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, and according to all that she have done. Do unto her, for she have been proud against you. How about she shot? So the Lord is going to bring destruction on this place because he's been proud against the Lord, man. And that's all these uh, different legislation they put in for um, for the you know the the, uh, the, the alphabet community, um, the legislation they put together against the children of Israel, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All these things the Lord is going to recompense judgment on Esau, Edom, and these other heathen nations because of what they've done to us. And that's a double uh, judgment, and that's what the scriptures say. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to have a double destruction. I guess in Isaiah seventeen, it says against the holy one of Israel. So they've been proud against the Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, the holy one of Israel, and that's not talking about everybody, man. It's only talking about a certain group of people, the Hispanic, the, the Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. It says therefore shall her young men fall in the streets, and all her and all her men of war shall be cut off in that day, said Yahweh Bashem Yahusha. So this country, man, it's going to be all hell breaking loose. You're going to have all type of madness going on, man. You're going to have militias out here fighting against each other. It's going to be, it's going to be the time of Jacob's trouble. And at the same time, the Lord is going to bring destruction on this place, man. And as you see, it's building up now that um, these things are near at hand. But let me get through these scriptures, man. I've been going on and on, breaking them down, but I don't want to make it too, too long. Just trying to hit the points. This is... Um, this is verse 31. It says, Behold, I am against thee, O thou most proud, say of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua, power of hosts, for thy day is come, the time that I will visit thee. So the Lord's time is coming, man. It's, it's close. It's real close. It says, 32, it says, And the most proud shall, shall stumble and fall, and none shall rise up, rise him up. So nobody's going to save this place when the Lord starts shooting those missiles. And I will kindle a fire in his city. See that? He's going to kindle a fire in his cities, and it shall devour all around about him. So, I mean, this, this Jeremiah 50 is a fire, man. You can read that whole thing. It goes, it details the entire judgment of um, Babylon the Great. This is Jeremiah um, 20. And Jeremiah got a lot of prophecy that haven't been fulfilled in the book of Jeremiah. I'm just going to hit these quick little points. 11. Jeremiah 20 and verse 11. It says, But Yahweh Bashim Yahusha is with me as a mighty trouble, tro like as a mighty terrible one. So the Lord is with the children of Israel, man. The hopeful elect as a mighty terrible one. He's going to protect us and save us in the time that's coming. It says, Therefore, my persecutors shall stumble and they shall not prevail. They shall be greatly ashamed, for they shall not prosper. Their everlasting confusion shall never be forgotten. So everything they've done and what they did in America is never going to be forgotten. Nobody's going to say, oh, man, wipe it away. No, it's not going to be wiped away. We're going to, we're going to continue to uh, prophesy these things, man, because the Lord is going to bring vengeance on them for what they've done. Verse 12, it says, but how about Shem Yahushua of hosts? That tryest the righteous and seest the reins and the heart, 
let me see thy vengeance on them. So we asking the men of the Lord is asking to see the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua on his on our enemies, on Esau Edom. For unto thee have I opened my cause, saying unto Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, Praise ye, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua, for he have delivered the soul of the poor from the hand of evildoers. So the Lord is going to bring great destruction on Esau Edom for what he done to us, man, and what he continues to do to us. So we asking the Lord to let us see the vengeance of of of, of, of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua on, on on our enemies. And uh, it's near to come. This is uh, Zechariah 14. Uh, yeah, Zechariah 14. Uh, and I'm just going to get the point real quick in 12. And this is what we know is coming to our enemies, man. But we want to see it. It says, um, Zechariah 14, verse 12, it says, And it and this shall be the plague wherein, wherewith Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai will smite all the people. They have fought against Jerusalem, and Jerusalem is talking about us, the people, the Hebrew, the Negroes, Hispanic, and Native Americans. It says, their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongues shall consume away in their mouth. And that's the only thing that's going to make that happen is thermonuclear missiles, man. Like I said, I, I think I seen where um, not you know quote me verbatim, but I think I said that, that, that those missiles get up to a, over a million degrees Fahrenheit. It says, and it shall come to pass in that day that a great multitude from Yahweh Shem Yahushai shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on their hand, like it, every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against. The hand against Slaka, rise up against the hand of his neighbor. That's talking about Jacob's trouble when those missiles come. So there's going to be a time where the Lord is going to is going to send those missiles, and it's going to be during the time of Jacob's trouble. But Esau think he has everything figured out. He think that this is not coming, uh, the destruction is not going to come unless he does it. But this is in the hands of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. It says, for when they shall say, this is uh, 2 Thessalonians 5 and 3. It says, for when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come upon them as travail upon a woman with child. So the Lord comparing it to like when a woman is pregnant, everything is going to be built up, man. And it's going to come all at once. And they shall not escape. So Esau is not going to escape the judgment. So you have about Shem Yahweh Shah. And this is for the controversy of the, the, the men of the Lord, the men of the Lord, the hopeful elect. 144,000 and the one third. So I'm going to end it there. Lord, when it was edifying, shalom.